If you want the ultimate in accuracy and surface finish, repeatability, you use the best tool. Welcome to Mac 2024. We're here on the Rainford Precision Stand and we've got some fantastic demos to show you happening on this Kern machine right now. Miles, thank you so much for having us on the stand. Thank you very much indeed, Rowan. Pleasure yeah. to have you. Brilliant. Let's get straight into it though. What demos are you showing us right now? Okay, we've got um, three main demos here today. They're all dry cutting because it's a custom machine and that's um, unfortunately we can't use it for actual cutting today. But what we have is um, we have a particle accelerator part of component. We also have the watch casing made out of ceramic and we also have a solid carbide forging die. Absolutely. And the, the, so the first component is made out of copper. It is. Which is a slightly more standard material for you guys. It very much, yes. But the, but the surface finish on that is gorgeous. It's amazing. With it being required for waveguide particle accelerating, it needs to be an ultra high pre precision finish. And this is only something that really you can achieve with the uh, machines like the Micro HD. Absolutely. And then moving on to the ceramic component. I, mean, yeah. I normally thought ceramic could only be ground. I'm wrong. No, completely wrong now. We can, we can mill it, we can drill it, and we can thread mill it even. It's no problem at all. And then the same with the carbide tool as well. Very much so. Carbide, you've been able to machine carbide for a few years, but that in the last year or two has been a massive step in technology using PCD tooling. Um, very, very high count of uh, cutting edges on the 6C tools. Yeah, it makes it a nice and simple. Yeah, and we'll be getting into the tooling a little bit later. Yeah. Before that, we're obviously in front of this beautiful Kern machine here. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, <laughs> this is a crown in the jewel of your stand. It already looks amazing. Looks um, tell me about the machine. How can the machine achieve the, a, the finishes in the copper component, um, the, the accuracy in the hard ceramic materials? Yeah. How does the machine achieve those? The machine itself is very, very highly temperature controlled. That's one of the main things with the machine. It, everything is from the actual chassis of the machine, the basis, every, every head, every, every part of it, the coolant, all very, very temperature controlled. One of the other main things with this machine is it has micro hydrostatic guideways on X, Y, and Z. So it's basically floating on a five micron thick film of oil. There is no metal to metal contact, so you get no stiction, no friction, nothing. So that enables the machine to run up to 60 meters per minute on rapid. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so not only are you getting good service finish and dimensional quality, yep. it's quite a quick machine to, to run around those parts as well. It is. It's a production machine as much as it is a highly accurate machine. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and what I find fascinating as well is it's not just the, the machine itself, it's working in tandem with the tooling. It is. One of the things with this machine is that you're spending a lot of money, you're high investment, you want to use good quality tooling. That enables you to really get your best price per component. At the end of the day, you don't put you, you, you don't make cheap tools to go on a very expensive machines. So if you want the ultimate in accuracy and surface finish, repeatability, you use the best tool. Absolutely. And what tool are you using on, on this machine now, showing on the copper component, the ceramic component? On the ceramic component and the solid carbide component, then we're using uh, tools from 6C. Uh, they're a Swiss company um, manufacturing tools in PCD. And their tools really are amazing on these, these types of materials. With the copper that we've got running here at the moment, that, that really is a um, standard carbide tool. It just has to be high quality, really good cutting edge quality. Absolutely, but the, but the service finish being done with kind of standard tooling is a testament to the specialty of, yeah. of Rainford Precision providing amazing tooling. Yeah, it's good tooling, but it also, the machine has to be ultra stable to give you these surface finishes. And that's one thing the Kern is. It's repeatable, ultra stable, just, an amazing piece of kit, really. Brilliant. Okay, so we've, we've talked about the, 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 the amazing kind of exotic nature of the demonstrations, yep. the, uh, what the machine can do to achieve that, but uh, now let's get down to the commercials. These are not cheap components to produce, um, and you talked about trying to keep the cost per part down. That is already a very high cost. How do you minimize that cost for customers and businesses that, customers that want a cheaper component, businesses that want to make money on uh, making co yep. components like this? Well, one of the main things with this machine, of course, is it's integral with a pallet changer. So you can get 24-7 running. And with the stability of the machine, you can come back after a full night's running, a full weekend's running, and you will be almost 99% guaranteed that every single component, even very tight tolerance, will be in tolerance when you go and check it on your CMM or whatever. But always remember, depending on the tolerance you're looking for out of the component, if you're plus or minus one micron even, 
you have to have the equipment to measure that. And that, again, is another investment story. Perfect. So these are incredible demonstrations here at Rainford Precision. Um, not only showing making one good component, but it's about making 100 good components off reliably and repeatably here on the Kerr Machine.